Okay, people have been asking me about the join that I have on this 10 stitch scrap shawl. It's kind of fun to make all different kinds of widths and you know, everything. It's just all my scraps and a way to get rid of them. And so um, they're asking me, how did I get this, this join here instead of what looks like a regular 10 stitch join. So I used the flat join called the Tamsin join because Tamsin Stratford was one who created it and I love that join and so it gives just uh, with this particular stitch that I'm using here which is my mystic stitch it really does give a really nice lacy kind of look here and on the other side it's nice and flat too. So there you go and I'm just going to show you how to do it. Okay, so when you're joining, you have your stitch on here that you're going to pick up when you're doing a 10 stitch. And I'm going to show you the modification to make it a flat join. And it works with any stitch that you want to that you can make uh, in a 10 stitch style or even when you're attaching strips. So I'm just knitting my way up here. Now when I come, and my next stitch would be knitting it over, and if I knit the whole thing over, I'm going to have the join like you see in my blanket here. Although this isn't much of a ridge because in this stitch the, the, um, the joins don't show up very much. So I left them in here. And, uh, but in this particular blanket, I, want, I wanted to have that nice patchwork kind of look, so I did want to have a flat join. Okay, so now instead of taking both of these over, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go in here and just take this one over, and that's all. And then when I come over here and knit over, that's what gives me the flat join. Now Tamsin has another method where, where she just takes the top loop over as well, but what that does is, um, although it gives you a flat ridge on one side, it gives you kind of a ridge on the other side, and I don't like that, so I just do it this way always, and just knit over. That's it. That's all you have to do to do that joining technique. So what I'm going to do here is put the next stitch on and just show you one more time how to do it. So there's the next stitch I would pick up. And then I got to knit down there and come back. But when I come back, I'll have put this over. And you can put it over now, too. As long as you get it over, it doesn't matter if you do it now or when you're back up to put it over. But it goes over. And then I'll knit back down, come back, and just pick it up, put on another stitch, knit it over in the two parts, and that's it. That's all you do to get the flatter join. Okay, I hope that answered your questions about how I got the flat join on there. So have fun and uh, enjoy.